salt is healthy, right? But I'm not so sure that taking a massive dose of it in order to detox the body is a smart thing to do. Let's look into this, but before we get started, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski, and I started my holistic health practice in order to help you take control of your health naturally, because true health only comes naturally. Hey, wellness warriors, many of you have asked about the saltwater flush. Is it safe? Should you use it? So let me first break down what a saltwater flush is to begin with. A saltwater flush is a natural health strategy that originated all the way back in 1941. It was part of a master cleanse detox and fasting program. And the whole purpose of the saltwater flush was to cleanse the colon, but also improve gastrointestinal health. Today, we often see it used by doctors when they're preparing a patient for a colonoscopy or some sort of colon exam, but we'll also see it as just a natural cleansing technique that many people use. Now, the saltwater cleanse offers many research proven benefits. Here's just a few that I want to mention. It helps clear fluid retention. Okay, so if you're somebody who feels like you're carrying a lot of water weight around, it helps with that. It improves digestion. It reduces inflammation in the body. It offers that colon cleansing benefit, which I'll get to in just a moment why this is. And it eases sore throats, removes toxins from the body, facilitates metabolic processes, and all also decreases bloating. Now, the saltwater flush is designed to have a laxative effect on your system. Therefore, if you're somebody who has a lot of bloating, if you have constipation, it certainly is going to get things moving. But if you're looking to improve your health naturally, there is a new way to do this without a wide-eyed emergency sprint to the bathroom. This video is sponsored by Celerity Vita ID. Get personalized vitamins sent directly to your door every month. How it works is you fill out an in-depth health assessment, pay a one-time formulation fee, and a nutritionist then reviews your assessment and precisely formulates daily vitamin packets made just for you. Stop guessing on what supplements you need. Stop juggling between five different bottles. Let a professional personalize a vitamin kit for you today. I personally use Vita ID, and let me tell you, if you take daily vitamins, this is a no-brainer. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, doing a saltwater flush is actually really easy. You take two teaspoons of either pink Himalayan salt or pure sea salt, and you put that in four cups of warm water. You basically put that in, mix it up, and then you drink it. If you're somebody who's really sensitive to the taste of salt, which some people are, you can squeeze some lemon in there in order to take the edge off. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And after you drink it, it should take about 30 minutes to an hour and you'll feel that laxative effect kick in. One of the things that you can do as a little bonus tip is you can drink this and then lay on your right side. And it's gonna really help improve the mobility of the mixture to the small intestines so that you can get a more thorough cleanse. Now, I will say this too, don't do this on a day where you have a busy day heading off to the office or you have to keep a rigid schedule, you're gonna to wanna to do this on a day where you have an open morning and you're in a comfortable setting and you have all the time in the world to run to the bathroom when it's needed. Now, there's a lot of hype out there that doing a saltwater flush can actually help you lose weight. And yes, it will cause you to lose weight, but it's not permanent weight and it's not weight in the way of fat loss. When you do this saltwater flush, the enormous amount of sodium that you consume puts your body in a state where it doesn't absorb water, but rather just excretes it in the way of diarrhea. There's two ways that you lose weight during a saltwater flush. You're gonna lose the contents of your colon, but you're also going to lose water weight. During this process, it's estimated that you could lose about five pounds. This is not permanent weight loss, remember? And this isn't a good weight loss strategy. What it is good for is improving gastrointestinal health and just cleansing the colon if you're somebody who is getting a little bit backed up. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, taking a massive dose of sodium like this, does it come with any side effects? Well, according to the research, there actually are a few that we have to watch out for. They include things like muscle spasms, weakness, twitching, confusion, headaches. That's all we need, right? We cleanse our colon and end up with a big monster headache. Fatigue, changes in blood pressure, numbness, and nausea. Okay, now when I look at all of these symptoms, it tells me one thing. It tells me that we created a massive electrolyte imbalance inside of our body. Every one of those symptoms equals electrolyte problems. There's a couple things that we can do. First of all, we could use like an electrolyte powder in order to help balance everything everything back out, that would be a very reasonable approach. Another thing that we could do is make sure we drink plenty of water in order to help get our system to absorb these electrolytes, get things moving around properly, create some balance in our body. There's another thing that we can do in order to help our gastrointestinal system as well. One of the things that we're doing here is we're flushing out all the contents of our stomach. And sure, you're gonna flush out a lot of bacteria. You're not gonna flush out everything though. Using a good prebiotic, a good fiber and a nice, well-diversed probiotic 
could be really powerful in order to help improve gastrointestinal health. When I work with patients who have SIBO and different gastrointestinal issues, I'll use cleanses in order to help flush the colon, then follow that up with a really good regimen in order to boost your colon health. Another thing the research said that we have to watch out for with these saltwater flushes is a vitamin or mineral deficiency. I'm not really that worried about this. This isn't something if you're gonna do it in the first place that should be done on a regular basis. This should be something that is done on a rare occasion. And I think that after you do it, I don't think it's gonna be so fun that you want to keep doing it. I think you would probably go, yeah, let's do this on a very rare occasion after you make multiple trips sprinting to the bathroom. As long as you're not doing this on a very regular occasion, I think that you're gonna be just fine and you're not gonna have vitamin deficiencies. Now, of course, you should follow all of this up with really good vitamin and nutrient rich food, right? A good salad, some really hearty soups, you know, really, really good food and make sure you're pulling out all the junk food. If you're going to go through this process of trying to improve your colon health, you certainly want to make sure you're making the right choices after this whole method is over with. Now, according to the research, there's a few particular problems Problems that you may be having which would lead you to want to do a saltwater flush. These are things like constipation, irregular bowel movements, skin issues like acne or psoriasis, and then also severe bloating. And this would be in the case of somebody who's experiencing something like SIBO. There's also reasons you would not want to do this, okay? If you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, if you have kidney issues, you don't want to go and just slam yourself with all this sodium. If you have heart problems, or if you're somebody who has high blood pressure, because you could probably imagine that taking <laughs> An enormous dose of sodium is not a smart thing to do when your blood pressure is already high. Now, my personal opinion of the saltwater flush is that I'm not a big fan of it, nor would I ever do one, or would I recommend it for a patient of mine. What I actually prefer over the saltwater flush is a vitamin C flush. And if you wanna learn more about a vitamin C flush, watch this video right here. It's really powerful for cleansing the gut, and that's how I was using it. I was using it while fasting. I was using it on the last day of my fast. It just helps cleanse everything out. You want to use a specific type of vitamin C.